The 2010 school year has just begun at the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Charter School, and with 740 students, it's full to the brim. Hello. There were six schools in the Lower Ninth Ward before the area was wiped out by Hurricane Katrina. The King School is the only one that's reopened. The school made a quick recovery because its staff made a crucial strategic decision to change course. Pre-Katrina, it was a traditional public school, funded and run by the city according to the state's curriculum. Post-Katrina, it's a charter school. These are partially funded by the state, as well as private corporations and non-governmental organisations, but they're not bound to the same rules and regulations as traditional schools. Each charter can establish its own curriculum, goals and methods of assessment. They're virtually independent, but if they don't achieve their mandate, the state can shut them down. We're able to select our staff. We're able to, uh, we're able to select those who want to be here. So it's been heavenly. It's not the money. It's taking things in our own hands and saying, hey, we're accountable and we are going to do good and this is the way we're going to do it. Historically, the New Orleans school system has been dogged by financial mismanagement, corruption, high dropout numbers and poor student results. After Katrina, the state put Paul Vallis in charge of opening more charter schools. And in the past five years, the percentage of academically unacceptable schools in the city has fallen. Well, our whole approach has been to weed out the ineffective schools and to create new schools, to take the top performing schools and to give them responsibility for the weakest performing schools. So, you know, so while we have a ways to go, the bottom line is this is working and this is working and, and nobody can deny the success we've had. Before Hurricane Katrina, just 2% of schools here in New Orleans were charters. By next year, it will be closer to 70%. That kind of explosive growth has never been tried anywhere in the United States, which makes the New Orleans school system very much an experiment, and there are plenty of people worried about the results. This is the only radio show that focuses on public education. Raynard Sanders has more than 30 years' experience as an educator in New Orleans. He's dismayed by the rapid spread of charter schools and the lack of oversight. We don't monitor them. There's no accountability for their academic performance. There's no accountability in the admission and retention, um, uh, whether or not they're admitting kids according to their policy, what their retention rate is. But while I am living, I will always strive for something better for my serenity. There's also widespread concern that charter schools schools are competing against each other for more money and the most talented students, leaving poorer, struggling students even further behind. There's no one looking at it and saying, how is this school contributing to the high quality of education in the city for all young people? It's more like, we're going to make our school good. Mm. And, um, and I think that is in the long run harm, harmful for all of us. The New Orleans Education Laboratory that has emerged in the wake of Hurricane Katrina is under intense scrutiny. The debate over its perceived success or failure will continue for some time to come. Kath Turner, Al Jazeera, New Orleans, Louisiana.